Instagram has so many features these days that I guarantee you don't know all of them. So I've gone through and identified every feature that can help you gain followers and made a list of how to use. Quick bit about me, I started a parenting page called Kiwi Dad in May of 2022. By the end of that year, I was at about 1,400 followers. In 2023, I went from 1,400 to 70,000 at the time of this video. And I've been tracking this journey since my 4,000th follower. So if you wanna grow with me, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Story reply. You can now actually respond to someone's comment on one of your posts or reels as a story post. Now, TikTok has always had this feature, but Instagram is kind of under the radar, taking that feature and implemented it themselves. Not stealing, it's borrowing. To do this, just find a comment on one of your reels and just swipe to the left, and then you'll see this little circle with a plus. Click on that little circle plus and you'll be taken to your story screen. And now you can respond to that comment in a story post and you can even add a poll or something like that, which will engage the commenter that commented on your post in the first place. But it will also encourage other people in your following to start commenting on your posts. So it's just a really great way to get engagement and you probably didn't know about it. Posting optimization. Here's two quick little things that have had a massive increase in my reach. When posting a reel, make sure that you have recommend on Facebook turned on but don't link it to a Facebook account. And what I mean by that is I had a Kiwi Dad Facebook account and it would share my posts there and I'd get a couple of views, not much at all. But if you just have that box ticked and it's not linked to an account, then it'll just go to the Facebook Explore page. And the Facebook Explore page has led to way more views for me. Now I'll show you an example. This reel I posted the other day did pretty well. It got 37,000 views on Instagram. But if I scroll right down to the bottom, you can see that on Facebook, I got over 500,000 views. And I never would have got any of those views if I didn't have recommend on Facebook turned on. Extra bonus, I tagged the cruise ship that we were on when I made that reel. And because the video got half a million views on Instagram and 700,000 on TikTok, we're now talking about working together for future trips. So brands really do care about views and this is just a really easy way to get them. Another quick one on posting optimization is just to scroll down into advanced settings and just make sure you've got tick always upload at the highest quality. Otherwise your uploads will be compressed and they might end up pixelated or just not great. Just always make sure you've got that one tick. Quality always. Posting times. To see when your following is most active, it's actually really easy. Just click on professional dashboard and then scroll down to total followers. Now, once you're in that menu, pick the last 90 days. Then scroll down to the very bottom and pick days rather than hours. And now I can see that my followers are most active on Monday and Sunday. Then if I want an even more specific breakdown, I can click on hours, pick that day like Monday. And then I can see that at 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. they're quite active. So if I want to capture them, then I should probably post during those times. If you'd like to have your Instagram page reviewed or have a specific video you'd like to see next, then just jump over to my BMC page in the description below and leave your Instagram handle. A huge thanks to Rich and Janelle for supporting this video. Finding your best content. Instagram actually has a way of letting you see your best performing posts, but they've kind of hidden it in a couple of menus. So go onto your page and then go to professional dashboard. Then go to content you shared. Now by default, it is going to show me my best performing posts for the last 30 days, but I can change this to three months, six months, or even two years. So let's look at the last two years. So I can see that I've had about eight videos get more than 500,000 views. And you might be thinking, didn't I just show you a video that had like 560,000 views? Where's that? And it's not there because Instagram will only show you what views have come from Instagram. So it doesn't include Facebook in this, but it is still very useful. Now, in particular, if you click up the top left and click on all, you can then see specific things. So maybe I want to just see my best performing reels, or maybe I want to see my best performing stories. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick stories, and then I'm going to pick the last 90 days. Now, once I've done that, I can see over the last three months, what stories have performed the best. And because I'm doing this exercise, I can now see quite clearly that my meme posts or posts that have a poll or question in them seem to do the best. So now I know I should do more posts like 
like that. These were just some quick tips to try and help you that have benefited me. If you want a real deep dive on this and how to make the most of your story post, then check out this video here. Or if you just want to grow your following, then check out this video here. Either way, please like, leave a comment below. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. And I'll see you next time.